Let's take a look at a few more um, tape diagram problems. Okay, so this problem says there were um, there are three bones in a cat for every four bones in a dog. Okay, so here we have the cat three bones, the dog four. So for every three bones that a cat has, a dog has four. That's my ratio of three to four. The cat has two hundred and 40 bones. How many bones does the dog have? Okay, so let's take a look at how to um, draw out this tape diagram and see if we can help solve the problem of how many bones does the dog have. So the cat, um, is, the ratio was three to four. Okay, the cat has three bones for every four that the dog has. Okay, so the cat, I made three uh, tape, three pieces of tape, and for the dog, I made four pieces of tape, All right? Now it says that the cat has 240 bones, so these three pieces represent 240, 240. And we need to figure out, well, what is the dog gonna equal? We already know, well, if the dog has four, so the cat's three, we know that the dog is gonna have a larger number than 240. Okay, so what I need to think is I have three pe equal pieces, three equal pieces, and they're going to equal 240. So I need to think about 240 divided by three, and what would that, what would one piece be? I'm going to try to figure out what, what one piece would be. So I'm going to use those basic facts here. 24 divided by three is eight, so 240 divided by three is 80, which means each of these sections, each of these pieces is going to be 80. They're 80 for the cat, and we have equal pieces for the dog. These are 80 as well. All right, so all of these little pieces are 80. So to find out what the dog is, the dog has four parts. So I'm going to do four times 80 to find out the dog. This is the cat, right? So I'm going to find out the dog. Four times 80. Four times 8 is 32. Oops. Four times eight is 32. I do that all the time, guys. I'm so sorry. Four times eight is 32. So four times 80 is 320. So the dog has 320 bones. The dog has 320 bones. And does that make sense too? Yes, that makes sense because the cat has 240. Dog has 320. And I can even double check to see if my ratio is correct. Three to four, 240 to 320. If I multiplied this way and this way, I would get the same answer. I would get 960, 960 of these are equal. So I can double check um, to see if they're equal. All right, so what I did was I found out the value of each piece and I filled this in and then I multiplied it by four. Let's try another example. Let's try one more example so that you can try some of these on your own today. So here's our next problem. Okay. This tape diagram represents the ratio of numbers of planets in two different solar systems. Okay, so we have solar system A and solar system B. There are eight planets in solar system B. Eight planets in solar system B. How many planets are in solar system A? So we know these, so we see here that we have um, three pieces, three parts for solar system A, for every four parts for solar system B, and we know that these four parts equal eight. These four parts equal eight. Okay, so for solar system B, we know that four, I have four pieces, four times something equals eight. Or I could write eight divided by four equals what? Either way, you can decide which one's easier for you. But I know that four times two is eight, or eight divided by four is two. So I know that each of these is worth two. Each part is two. And I can double check two, four, six, eight. Yeah, that equals eight. If each of these parts are two, each of these parts are gonna be two. 
So then I can say, okay, well, I have three parts of two, so I can three times two, or I can do two plus two plus two, and that gives me six. So solar system A has six planets. So we're using what we know for the one part, and we're figuring it out for the other one. Okay, so today you're going to do a few problems that are just like this. 